So, your leopard gecko's got some stuck shed. Don't worry, it's all right, it's an easy fix, and I'm gonna walk you through it. If you are in a bit of a rush or something, I do have timestamps for you to be able to skip throughout the video, and we'll get right to it, all right? Welcome and welcome back to Kingdom Animalia. Let's get rid of this shed. Alright, so, if you're having some shedding problems, it could be because the leopard gecko is just a really bad shedder, that's always an option, especially if it's getting stuck on the toes, leopard geckos just oftentimes have a little bit of a problem getting it off of their toes, it's very common, it's not always your fault, however, you can also just be having some problems uh, with humidity, it doesn't make you a bad owner, it's just something you have to fix. Um, what may be wrong with your humidity is you may not have enough going on throughout the enclosure. Uh, it's just providing moisture for, to your animal, to your leopard gecko. Now, you want to get a hygrometer, and that's going to be able to measure the humidity for you. Um, it should be between 30 to 40% for a leopard gecko. You really don't want it to be too much higher than that because you don't want them to get any respiratory infections or other health problems. It's just not fun for you or for them, okay? So, what you can do is you can add a humidity hide if you don't have that already, or you can make the entire enclosure something that you can keep relatively moist. Now, you don't want the humidity to be too high, like I said, so I personally don't do that. It's not that it doesn't work for a lot of other people, because it does. I just find more comfort in providing a humidity hide. Now, all that is is some kind of hide that keeps in moisture. I've showed it in other videos, it's like a plastic container, um, they also have uh, ones on the market for you to look for that way, and so I personally use paper towel, I just keep it relatively moist, not uh, moist to the point where it's like they're stepping on water, um, just like slightly damp, you get me? So, um, I do that and that usually helps out, especially when they're shedding, it helps just keep their skin moist, that's all it is, you want to keep that skin nice and soft. Um, throughout the shedding um, or give them the option to keep it nice and soft what you'll notice is sometimes when a leopard geckos in shed they'll go and sit in water or they'll go and sit in the humidity hide because sitting in that moisture is making their skin nice and moist and it helps them take that right off easy peasy easy fix now if you don't want to have a humidity hide you are more than welcome to make the entire enclosure something um, Something that holds a bit more moisture better, like I said. Um, I didn't mention any other, other other substrates. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize. Um, but like I said, I use paper towel. You can use uh, forest floor, eco earth, cocoa fiber, sphagnum moss. There's all different kinds of moss you can look into to use. And those things are going to be very good at holding in humidity. Um, you can put those into the hide. Or like I said, you can put it throughout the entire enclosure. Either way, just make sure you're holding it properly, and that'll do the job. That'll take care of everything that you need, and boom, your leopard gecko will be fine. You should have a reduce, uh, you should have a decrease in the issues that go on with the shedding, and that should that should really be it. <laughs> like that, that's really it. If you're having some kind of shedding problem, it's usually regarding humidity or the fact that the lizard is just a bad shedder. And so there you go. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of it how I bathed her, and boom, that's, we gonna get right through this video, all right? One thing I forgot to mention in the video is when I grab her, um, I don't, like, grab her aggressively. I pick her up like this, and in that case, in the video, I was holding her like this, and it's not focusing very well. Let's see, that might help. Um, what I did was, I have my thumb on top of her back. That's it. I'm not squeezing her. It's a very gentle hold. It's just helping keep her in place. One thing that I also noticed is that if you flip her... <laughs> that didn't go well. If you put your thumb on their chest area, where you would call their chest, and just put them upside down, it's not working well. 
and just put them upside down there you go they kind of freeze i'm not sure why that is they're probably not big fans of it but it does help when you're trying to get the setting off of the fingers because they stay still you don't want to hold them like that they, uh, for too long that is um what i do is i just flip her back over let her relax herself for a minute and then i'll you know comfort her a little bit pat her in the tail pat her in her uh on her chin talk to her a little bit because she can recognize my voice things like that and then we just call it a day and then i'll start again she'll freeze up easy fix take it off boom boom and that's it all right yeah All right, you guys, so the first step is pretty simple. You just want to pinpoint all the locations where your leopard gecko has shed. And so you can see Wink has some on her toes and on her head as well. And so, yeah, you just make sure you know where everything is. And so then I put her in a tub of warm water. Uh, the temperature here is going to be, what did I put? I did 89 degrees. And so it might seem a little bit hot, but over time it will cool down since she's going to be in here for about 15 minutes or so, maybe even 20. Um, it's not too high for her or anything. She's not burning. It's not hot. It's, it's a okay. All right, so all I'm doing here is I'm scooping the warm water onto her head because remember she had stuck shed on her head and she's not going to sit that in the water for a long period of time because you know, she has to breathe. So as you can see, the water also cooled down. It's only been about five minutes. It's now 82 degrees. And so, ooh, my hands is ashy. And anyway, right now we're going to start taking off uh, the stuck shed. You actually can't see it in this very moment, but I do believe I fixed that shortly. And so I'm using a tweezer. Uh, While well, I'm actually using feeding tongs, you can use a tweezer. I personally don't because of the sharp edges. Um, but you can if you feel comfortable. I just be very careful with it. As you can see, the feeding tongue worked just fine. Um, on other occasions, you can also use your fingers. Um, that can also suffice. But if nothing else is working, I would use feeding tongs or tweezers. And boom. So, you can see all the shed is taken off. I didn't really get to record it all because it was it was a lot of work. Um, can't do both. And so now all the stuck shed is off for her and boom, that's it. We're we're finished. She's done. Life is great. All right, you guys, well, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful, and I hope your leopard gecko has some easier sheds going here on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it, man. You guys have a good day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. Have a good one. Say bye, Wink. There you go. You guys, I'll see you in the next video.